The following is a message from Senator the Honorable Gloria Thomas, Minister with Responsibility for Social Development and Gender Affairs, in observance of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence on November 25th, 2023. Fellow Canadians, as we observe 16 days of activism against gender-based violence during the period November 25th to December 10th, 2023 under the theme Unite, Invest to Prevent Violence Against Women and Girls, I wish to highlight that despite continued focus efforts, gender-based violence continues to affect our beautiful island in very significant ways. Impending progress due to the damaging consequences affecting not only those directly affected but our communities and by extension, our island. It is against this background that I am making a clarion call for all of us to join hearts and hands together and unite our efforts to address this very complex and vexing issue of national concern. 16 days of activism against gender-based violence is an annual observed period that begins on the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and runs until Human Rights Day. During this period, there is a call for global response by increasing awareness and advocacy to help end all types of violence against women and girls. This issue is sadly a global one. It is a security issue a public health concern and a human rights violation that affects one in three women, Grenada included. The impact has far-reaching consequences and does not discriminate against age, race, class, ethnicity, economic status, language, or geographic space. According to the World Health Organization, we must also note that while gender-based violence affects women and girls everywhere, women and girls who live with disabilities, adolescent girls and older women often face greater difficulty to have their voices heard and to access support. Together, we need to change the narrative surrounding gender-based violence. We need to debunk the myths, challenge misogyny and hold perpetrators accountable. No space should be susceptible to hiding perpetrators. Women and girls, every part of the world must be able to live a life free from violence. It is their fundamental right. We must strive for every individual to be empowered and every voice heard. To achieve this, we need receptive and responsive citizens and institutions. We need gatekeepers in communities, and we need government, academia, civil society, communities, and individuals to unite in this fight. My government remains resolute in addressing this issue. We cannot afford for diminished interests. We will continue to diligently support effort to address gender-based violence and to ensure compliance with the international and regional instruments that we have signed on to. We are aware of the many challenges faced due to reasons including gaps in criminal law and procedure, gender stereotypes, victim blaming, limited resources, and inadequate responses. However, we will continue to assiduously address these issues for Better Grenada, Cariku, and Piti Matnik. As a ministry, we recognize that comprehensive and multi-sectorial solutions are required. And as such, we are aiming for the establishment of a sub-national response mechanism and a national response mechanism for better coordination of the essential services 
related to gender-based violence. We have already completed the parish level training of multi-sectorial teams and targeted training of the police, magistrates, a judge, prosecutors, social service providers, health professionals, and civil society. I implore us all to see this very entrenched issue for what it really is. It is one that is destroying our social fabric and prohibiting individuals, families, and our communities from realizing the fullest potential. May we all see this issue as our business and act accordingly. May we all invest in addressing gender-based violence and secure a better future for our beloved island. I thank you. The proceeding is a message from Senator the Honorable Gloria A. Thomas, Minister with Responsibility for Social Development and Gender Affairs, in observance of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence on November 25, 2023.